but deaths by your own government where they say, hey, you citizen that I'm supposed to be ruling in favor of, that I'm supposed to govern in your best interest, get on this train car, line up in front of that ditch, go into that shower. On a more cheery note, on Epstein didn't kill himself, despite the fact that that segment probably could have fit in the Epstein segment yeah, for, well, yeah. for very on-the-nose reasons, uh, we have a different topic, a topic uh, coming from a recent study that suggests that distrust of government is bad for you. Oh, Now, you're probably sitting there thinking, all right, without them telling me what happened in this study, let's just do a thought experiment saying, what could they possibly point to to suggest that it's actually bad for you? Because really, you know, we're talking about uh, a, a mental disposition or, or a principled stance against whatever government stands for, right? How could that be like physically bad? How could that harm your health? Uh, I, I don't know, Dane, maybe it causes anxiety or stress and, you know, your cortisol levels much go stress, up and, cortisol, you know, heart issues. Cortisol. Maybe that was it. Well, you are a much more insightful and intelligent person than the quote unquote experts. The researchers uh, from Canada that did a study suggesting that uh, C word, V word hesitancy is correlated with a higher risk of traffic accidents. What? Yes, <laughs> completely jettisoning, jettisoning, jettisoning with the idea. Did you just invent a word? Well, to jettison is jettisoning. In, not a word. In. It might not be. Jettison. Fuck, that's hard. It's problem because it ends in. in an end and then you're trying to do an yeah. ing on top. Yeah, an ing, ing, ing. Jettison Kawasaki don't do sounds. Too, don't do it too quick. <laughs> you might um, be a racist. They're com anyway. How about this? I'll change the word. They're completely dispensing. There we go. With disregarding of do the... Do another dis. Of the... <laughs> uh, dis... Disrespecting Just, um, <laughs> the the notion that correlation does not equal causation. Uh, they did a study and they found that, um, again, according to their bullshit study, that not taking the, uh, uh, the the C word V medical procedure that we're not talking about. The thing that was obviously the, the best thing that's ever happened. Um, equal to a quote, 72% increased relative risk of having a traffic accident versus those who did choose to get that medical procedure. I have a feeling that Hillary was involved. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, again, you're thinking, guys, this is bananas. Well, first of all, we will post we will post the uh, the link to the article discussing this from the Independent Institute, which has the link to the study itself, and so you can see that we're not making this up. Actual professionals experts with all the fancy letters behind their name actually came did a study and came to this conclusion that if you don't get the medical thing you have a higher chance of getting in, an, in a traffic accident now where's the connection help me it's probably obvious to you it's clear it is a quote distrust of government or belief in freedom i mean come on who believes in antiquated ideas like freedom these days it's 2021 david free. Just came up with the times you can't be free anymore you be like free approximate approximately free a distrust of government or belief in freedom along with quote antipathy toward regulation leading to a more exposure to misinformation, insufficient resources, or other personal beliefs seem to be the reason why simultaneously you would not choose to get a medical procedure that everybody has told you is safe and effective, and we're not debating that, YouTube. Just Daddy, saying. Daddy, chill. You might not choose to get that. You also might get in traffic accidents because maybe the speed limit or failing to signal a lane Dang. change or all yeah. the other dangerous things, yeah. you know, right on red without coming to a full stop, those kind of things. In layman's terms? Uh, that's why not getting the medical thing makes you have more crashes, according to these experts. So what they're saying is that these people are so fucking up their own ass with conspiracy theories from not getting that medical procedure that they're going, stop sign, 
that's exactly what they want me to do. Fuck it. And then plow on through it. And then all of a sudden, car crash. That's what they want you to think. They want you to think these people that don't want to get that <laughs> procedure just go, oh, yeah? Oh, okay. I won't put this plastic bag over my head. Fuck it, idiots. <laughs> I can breathe so much better. No, it's, uh, it's, the, again, it's just saying that anybody that doesn't get that medical procedure um, is dumb. They're uneducated. They eat paint chips, as Dane alluded to earlier. They sit on the couch, scratch their nuts, and collect their unemployment check because that's all they know how to do. They're getting paid by the government even though they're suspicious of the government. Like, it, again, it, it goes down this path. It's like it paints this picture of somebody that has a different idea than them. So obviously, obviously, they, they can't be as smart as them. They can't have a better idea than the other people because all the other people are doing it. Right. And if all of us are doing it, it can't be wrong, right? Right. Cite child pornography. <laughs> Just for a small example. Um, but before we get into, again, the, the, the sort of Epstein moment that's going on with this, this sort of mentality of if you trust the government, it's bad for your health, literally. Um, is from my reading of the study, they didn't they didn't really analyze the opposite of what happens to people when they have a lot of trust in government. Well, I guess by the last tally, if we're looking at the democide numbers for just the 20th century alone, that seemed to have pretty negative outcomes for a little north of 200 million people. And again, just to redefine that term for you, democide is defined as deaths by one's own government. So not death by civil war or death by war between a foreign nation or death by any number of other causes that could lead to the demise of an individual human being, but deaths by your own government where they say, hey, you citizen that I'm supposed to be ruling in favor of, that I'm supposed to govern in your best interest, get on this train car, line up in front of that ditch, go into that shower, you know, stand in front of my, uh, you know, um, the heavily armed military members, et cetera, et cetera. How, all of the ways that, you know, citizens were put to death by their own governments. A uh, little north of 200 million people in the 20th century alone. And the, those were direct deaths that flowed from a broad mentality in the population of a lot of trust in government. One might say too much, but we don't, we don't have studies. But Dane, the government's never lied to us. Ever, 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 ever. They They've always told the truth. They've never done that. They've never. never lied to us on an auspicious occasion that, you know, we needed to go to war for 20 years and just throw death and mindless destruction at something that was never meant to get fixed ever, that we left and clearly it was never meant to get fixed because we didn't do a fucking thing to fix it over there. And now it's all only created a vacuum. If only that had happened so you could have your conspiracy theories about why you shouldn't trust your government. Me? <laughs> I'm getting my 25th medical procedure tomorrow. And listen, before we, <laughs> before we move on to the main part of the episode, just the cosmic justice of this all, of how everything just falls into place so, so well. That article uh, about the study was published on December 27th, 2022. And the very next day, oh, no. the very next day on December 28th, 2022, we have this article uh, from the New Yorker titled, The Case for Wearing Masks Forever. A ragtag coalition of public health activists believe that America's pandemic restrictions are too lax. And they say they have the science to prove it. Now, all well, I'll say about prove it. <laughs> all I'll say about that is is the fact that that article came out the day after the other one talking about the too much uh, distrust of government is bad for you is just so cosmically hilarious because if you happen to fall in the camp that too much distrust of government is bad for you and therefore we should trust it more, that's how you wind up with brain dead takes like this. I'm going to let you read the New Yorker article by going to the show notes page or clicking the uh, the comments down underneath these videos. 
um, or you know, click the links to to see about the science that these ragtag and just look how they refer to them. That's just hilarious to me. A ragtag coalition of public health activists, right? It's kind of like this scrappy little bunch pushing back against the big guys. Do they ever describe the the people all throughout the the C word times as a ragtag group of people who had other things to say than the establishment about the Cooks, prevailing quacks. medical narrative? They weren't no ragtag coalition. They were just all make, the bad stuff. People so, were just fear mongering and trying to make a name for themselves <laughs> during the time of crisis. It's it's funny, but. At, in terms of the science to prove it, we talked about this all throughout the last couple of years, and we're going to share the link again because it can't be shared enough, is uh, the website is covidchartscnnforgot.com. And on there, you can go and you can click interactively. It's got little charts and you get a pick. Where on the line do you think the mask policy was instituted? Because you would think it would be pretty obvious, right? Cases go way, way up. Mask policy? Cases go way, way down. I'll tell you this. I'm a spoiler alert for you. If you answer the interactive quiz that way, you're going to get a 0%. Suggesting that the shotgun splatter chart of the impact that masking, mandatory masking had on cases versus not in terms of slowing them down uh, was so statistically irrelevant that to say that somebody has the science to prove that, quote unquote, the case for wearing masks forever is scientifically viable as a position. Again, we're in year three now and they're still doing this. That's the kind of mentality that comes of too much trust in your government. And to track we, back- We suggest to you, dear listener or viewer. To the beginning of Epstein didn't kill himself of the distrust of government is bad for you. Do remember that the government or the god of science, Anthony Fauci himself came out and said that masks don't work at the beginning of this pandemic. Just chew on that. Try it. In. And then came back out months later and said, no, masks do work. I was lying to you to save masks for the important people. That's all I got to say. Yep. Again, <laughs> take them at their own words. Which they never are accountable for, by the way. And so you want to trust implicitly the thing that never takes responsibility for any of its actions and holds you accountable for all of yours and all the things that you might have done as well. Just bear that in mind. Food for thought. Huh.